Hello again everybody, my name is Josh Lott and welcome to the first episode of a series where I'll be teaching you how to make cool little programs uh, using like Visual Basic Script and Batch Scripts and stuff like that, like inbuilt code that you don't need to download external software for. Now unfortunately this is only going to be working for Windows users. Uh, it's not going to work for Mac because that's a completely different operating system. But a quick overview, uh, batch is basically what you use in the CMD, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically this little uh, command prompt here is what it stands for. And you can do things like echo hello, and it'll display hello, and other things like that. And then there's uh, VBS, which is Visual Basic Script, which is a very powerful language, which allows you to fiddle a bit more with hardware as opposed to software in a way. So basically what Visual Basic Script does is it's got a function called um, send keys and what send keys is, is it, it makes the computer think that you're typing things in so if I type in hello that's me physically clicking the keys and then it's uh, telling the computer hey this guy clicked the keys hello and then what it does is then it prints them onto the screen but what you can do is you can get this script here to think that you're typing on a keyboard, but in reality you're not. And this, used in conjunction with a few other techniques, can allow you to make a very cool spam virus, which I'm going to test out on my friend Dr. Al on Skype. So what we can do is we need to create... Now, I'm not going to explain to you what these things are. I'll explain to you how to type them and stuff, but I'm not really going to go into depth on why they do these things just because that's not really what this video is about. You can check out another video if you want to find out more about VBS. But let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to type in set auto equals create uh, object and you need uh, capital C for create, capital C for object brackets, quotations. Now by the way I'm using Notepad++ if you want to get it, just google it, first result. Uh, it's basically a better version of Notepad. So just a heads up. So that, like when you type in brackets, it'll automatically put two of them in. So that's just, this is a little handy thing. It also shows you how many lines of code there are. So that's nice. So you do brackets, quotations, you type in wscript.shell. And that's the first line. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make it wait a bit. So basically when you run the code, you have a bit of time to move your mouse and click on where you want it to type. So we're going to go wscript.sleep space 5000. This is in milliseconds, so it's going to wait 5 seconds, and then it'll uh, do its thing. So that's wscript.sleep. Then what you want to do is you want to go auto.send send keys, which is the thing we were talking about. We do in brackets, and the words we want. So let's just go um, greetings from YouTube. YouTube's capitals. YouTube exclamation mark and then obviously we don't want to be clicking enter so we're going to type in auto dot send keys and we're going to do in squiggly brackets we're going to type in enter which basically anything in squiggly brackets is a function or like a, uh, a, a key so not just letters not just a string like this but it'll actually put hit the enter key if these are uh, if these brackets weren't here, it would just echo, or not echo, it would just print the word enter, but this here is clicking the enter key. And then all we need to do is just copy and paste this a whole bunch of times. So this is on line 5, so we're going to see how many we can make. So we're just going to copy and paste these, we're going to do it a couple hundred times, maybe 300 times, and we'll be good. Uh, actually, we'll leave it at this for now. This is going to print it uh, 123 times. So we're just going to put this back at the top, actually, because we need this in there. Oopsie, what did I just click? It's F11 full screens it, and F12 also full screens it, and does something, something different, I don't know. But basically, this is the code you want, so just basically these three things, or four things. So we're going to save this, and we need to save it as a VBS. So we're going to go, we're going to call this Skype spam.vbs. We'll save it to the desktop and we'll go save. And you see, as soon as we save it as a VBS, it has kind of syntax highlighting. So you see, 
certain things are in certain colors so this is in like a pale color which means it knows that this is kind this stuff is going to be like the stuff that's like outputting this is like a function up here and stuff and all that's very nice so we're gonna exit off this and it's right here so what we're gonna do is we're going to bring Skype open over here bring Skype over here sorry and we're gonna move this just down here and come on it's freezing up on me for a bit I'm gonna move this up there make this window a little bit bigger so you can see and we're gonna leave it like that so it's up there and we're going to just click here click this we're gonna hit enter manually to run this okay now we click down here and we just wait now unfortunately I can't show you that I'm not touching the keyboard but I'm not touching the keyboard so you see it keeps printing the same messages repetitively into the chat window and this is gonna happen 123 times so that's nice we'll see if we get a reaction out of him Oh, we're getting a reaction he's typing what is it what what do you say <laughs> oh no and if it, if it stops short you can easily just either extend the script or run the script again and I think we'll run it twice because I think we're running out of messages here so as soon as it stops we can just run it again and then we'll see what goes on so what's he saying now 2500 messages I actually tested this out before and uh, it printed about 600 times and I ran it twice so when he came back to his uh, device, it um it said like it had 1,000 unread messages, so that's quite nice. So just gonna sit here. Actually, I think we can uh, we only need to run it once. We basically need to end it with us end it with us saying the final say. So we're gonna just reply to this. So when it stops, we'll just leave our own message. And this is not the same script, but I'm using batch script to make that uh, keep talking and nobody explodes a bot. So that's quite nice. Are we done? Is it over? Okay, let's see what he says. How do you like it? There you go. Let's see what his response is. Okay, you know what, I'm not really expecting a result from this anyways, but, I mean, oh no, here we go. So, okay, we'll see. <laughs> He's so confused as to what has just transpired. So, I guess we'll leave it at that, guys. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I know it's very repetitive, every video does it, but just give it a thumbs up. Uh, you will see, check my channel in a few days. Uh evil smiley face there we go and uh, subscribe if you like this kind of content if you like video games in general and I will see you guys in the next video goodbye